Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out a beer from a brewery I cannot pronounce. So here it is. So I'm gonna guess this is either a Pilsner or a lager of some kind. Okay. Um, we don't actually really know. All we can tell is is what's on Untapped. What, what's what's going on? All I know is that this uses all of the standard Bavarian aroma hops. Yeah. Pearl, Mittelfrau, Hollow Tower, and Sapphire. And Sapphire. Okay, that's the other one. Do we know anything about this? Nope. Other than is this the 4.8 or the 5.3? 5.3. So this is marketed for the U.S. 4.8 is only for Germany. They give us more alcohol. Yeah. Why? Because we like to drink here. <laughs> yeah, because we're fat Americans. Uh, let's read this can. Hollow Tower Hopfen Cuvee. This unique beer specialty combines the. This unique beer specialty combines the four best aroma hops from the Hollow Tower region in Bavaria, Schloss Brewery. Something, something. Um, many things in German. Ingredients: water, barley, malt, hops. Uh, and that's that's it really and this actually has a qr code on it so it's not just your standard barcode so that's kind of interestingly specific we haven't seen that yet pours a kind of cloudy looking straw color once again um indicative of a pilsner or a lager either one this doesn't have quite the head retention that i saw with the that yeah. we saw with the other ones that's for sure it's not quite as white a little bit off-white in say. fact i don't know let's take a nose Mm. Oh, already, I can tell you that this smells very good. Mm-hmm. I mean, definitely a base of this Ooh, yeah. wheat and hay. Almost a floral sort of um, effervescent floral note coming from it. That smells great. Yeah, it does smell really good. Mm. Um, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, me too. I I'm a little nervous, but also yeah. excited <laughs> given our past uh, experiences. Let's go ahead and dive in. Cheers. Cheers. So right off the bat, I will say, um, you do definitely get that sort of like penny aftertaste, mm -hmm. that sort of coppery. Um, For sure, it stands out. It's yeah, like lingering back here. Yeah, definitely. That's the first thing I actually noticed. Um, aside from the the beautiful aroma from these hops. Yeah. It's got more body than the previous offerings. Oh yeah, it's definitely it's different. More body, more flavor, more everything. It's more balanced. For sure. Especially compared to the last one. I don't know what the fuck that guy was talking about on Untapped about this beer versus the last one we did. That dude does not drink enough beer. It's still on the lighter side, and now I'm starting to see the trend. Maybe all these beers are just lean, German. Like on the very light side of things. They all seem to lean on the on the lighter side of the spectrum of where they yeah. exist at. Yeah. Which I mean, there's something about that. It's not it's not necessarily a bad thing. Right. Um you know, but I think coming from coming from a very Americanized um, craft beer background, I think that skews our logic on German beers in in some ways, and I think we expect these beers to be like that. Well, a little more like that anyway. But see, the weird thing is that I buy German beers at the grocery store all the time that are legit German beers, and they taste nothing like the rest of the beers that we've right. had so far. They have everything that those beers don't have. Or are these breweries just so not known that they're not like the big players that can do it really, really well? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I know the, the other two that we had were like micro breweries, came from okay. smaller breweries. So maybe they that, might be able to be forgiven on that, yeah. you know, but like this, this can looks like a, a big time brewery. Mm -hmm. Like it, Look, it says beer from Germany, product of Germany, beer from Germany, product of Germany. Like this beer is German. It's it's all over the can. Um, so, you know, I'm wondering if, but look, it's even distributed here. Vermont, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, Delaware, New York, HI, I don't know what that is. Hawaii. Hawaii? But yeah, it gives you like a 10 cent back thing, CA cash refund, okay plus. Those are things that are indicative that this this exact can is distributed throughout the United States. Right, so this is they're big enough to do that. And this tastes better. This is yeah. a better brewed beer. 
So, perhaps... Now, remember how I was saying earlier that the German version... They just aren't doing it that well. ...is 4.8%, and the U.S. version is 5.3%, maybe... The fact they can even do two yeah. is crazy, right? So, they they're definitely gonna, have the money. Yeah. They definitely are a bigger brewery, for sure. Um, so, maybe bigger breweries over there just can do it better. I don't know. But either way, this is this is a decent beer. I like this one, actually. It's that aftertaste, though. That's the only thing. It tastes like it's been in this can for a long time. All right, guys. Well, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.